What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make my seafood mac and cheese. This recipe is fully equipped with plenty of seafood, starting with lump crab meat, shrimp, lobster meat, and for the cheese we have Havarti, cheddar, parmesan, and plenty of mozzarella. Of course we got to have some elbow macaroni, some butter, our cream, heavy cream, half and half and evaporated milk, lobster base, cayenne pepper, Tony's Creole seasoning, emerald essence, a little bit of sherry, some onion powder, and Lowry's seasoned salt. All right, now that I've shown you the ingredients, I gotta show you how to make it happen. We're gonna start by melting some butter in a saucepan, as you see me doing here. I'm kinda missing the butter a little bit, but you get the gist. Once your butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimp, Make sure to season generously with that Creole seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you like. I used Tony's and Emerald Essence in this video for this recipe. You're gonna to wanna to cook your shrimp about halfway through and then we're gonna add some lobster meat to the party. Now, if actual lobster meat is not in the budget, you can get Langostino lobster, which you can find in most grocery stores in the frozen section. Once that's cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Then we're gonna start on our roux, which is equal parts butter and flour. So go ahead and add in the flour once your butter has melted and mix it around until it forms a paste like you see here. I recommend to always season your roux. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of the Creole seasoning and then about a teaspoon or so of that lobster base. The lobster base adds a beautiful seafood flavor to this dish, I highly recommend it. If you can't find it, you can go ahead and try to use a little bit of seafood stock. And then we're gonna deglaze with our sherry wine as you see me doing here. Give it a nice mix and then we're gonna add in a half of our cream. As you're adding in the cream, you wanna bump up the temperature to about medium high and then add in that evaporated milk. Whisk everything together, make sure that it doesn't become clumpy. You want a really smooth sauce. Add in the rest of your cream as you see me doing here and continue to whisk. Bring it up to a boil and then reduce to a simmer and then begin to add in your cheese. I'm starting with Parmesan cheese here. And I'm going in with some Havarti. I believe that's how you say that. Add your cheese a little bit at a time and continue to mix it in so that the sauce becomes smooth and the cheese melts beautifully as you see here. Basically, I'm adding a mixture of Havarti, cheddar, and mozzarella. And I'm gonna add a little bit at a time just to make sure that the cheese melts and the sauce is nice and smooth. Continue to stir it until it gets thick like you see here and taste for seasoning and adjust accordingly. Once it's right, we're gonna go ahead and add in our crab meat. Please use real crab meat for this recipe, not the imitation stuff. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it, trust me. Mix in the shrimp and the lobster. Man, this dish is delicious. I'm getting hungry doing this voiceover. Once everything is mixed, go ahead and add in a little bit of chopped parsley, mostly for appearance. It doesn't really add a whole lot of flavor. Then you're gonna add in your cooked elbow macaroni. I did not show you guys how to do that because I'm hoping you know how to boil noodles at this point. And then add in your cubed mozzarella, stir everything together, and then add it to your cast iron skillet or baking dish. The cast iron skillet's a little bit more badass, but do what you gotta do. Once it's in there, we're gonna to top with some leftover shredded cheese. I'm using a blend of cheddar and Havarti cheese there. Maybe a little mozzarella as well. Pop it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it looks as beautiful as this does. Now, it wouldn't be one of my videos without a money shot. Brace yourself. There it is. And there you have it. This is my seafood macaroni and cheese. Feel free to adjust it to your liking. If you don't have lobster, you can just simply do it with crab and shrimp. If you like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and as always, thank you for your support.